Hey there, welcome back. Well, today we're going to be solving a problem that is quite common, and that is when you have devices like a diffuser like this, where you have these buttons on the front here. So there's no way to actually trigger this device by just turning it on using a smart plug, for example, because once the power comes on, it will not go into the mode of actually turning on and diffusing whatever scent you have in here. And there's lots of other systems like this, coffee machines and all sorts of other devices where a smart plug is not gonna do the trick. So today we're gonna to have a look at a couple of different options that I've considered in order to automate this device. And then I'll tell you the one that I've ended up with and I'll show you how I've done it. Now, to be totally honest with you, Shelly did send me these devices free of charge, but this is not a sponsored video and they have no control over what I'm about to say. So the first method that I considered was using a SwitchBot bot. This is a tiny little device that when you trigger it, it's got a little finger that pops out and it presses the button. Now, the issue that I had with this was that, first of all, the surface of my diffuser is curved so it was going to be quite difficult to adhere this and get it perfectly aligned to actually control the tiny little button on this device second of all it's going to sit on the side of the device and it's really going to look like as if we've hacked this device so the next method that i looked at was using a shelly one now the Shelly one is a 12 volt relay. So it worked really well with this device because the power supply on this device was already running on 12 volts. So I could use the 12 volt supply to control the Shelly or power the Shelly, but also to power the device itself. So that was a really good idea. And I've been using it like this for about a year or so now, and it's been really effective. But today I'm gonna show you my third method which is using a Shelly Uni. And the reason that I've chosen this device to try today is threefold. First of all, it's a very small little device. So the board itself is really small and it is protected from moisture. Because this device is a diffuser, it naturally is gonna be producing a lot of humidity. So I wanted something that was protected and the Shelly Uni has a special protective coating that will protect any corrosion on the device. The third thing I really like about the Shelly Uni is that I can control both of these switches. So I can have a separate control over the light and a one control over the actual diffuser itself. And then I can also add additional devices on there. So for example, I'm gonna put a temperature uh, sensor within this device as well so that I can be measuring temperature. Let's have a look how I've done it. With the Shelly one, I had to remove the plastic casing from the Shelly one because it was too large to fit inside the unit. The way that I've wired it up is I've soldered two connections onto the positive and negative of the 12 volts coming into the device. And then secondly, you'll see that we've got this little switchboard over here. And this is where our two switches are connected to. Now these are just push button switches. So all I've done is I've soldered two wires onto the back of one of these push switches, which was the switch to control the diffuser itself. The second switch over here is the one that controls the light. And I'm gonna be using that with the Shelly Uni as well. So we've got control over both entities. So the leads we're gonna use on the Shelly, we're gonna use these two outputs on this side to control both the diffuser and the LED lights. On this side, we're gonna use the red and the black for the power supply. And then the yellow, blue, and green are gonna be used to connect to the temperature sensor. So first of all, we're going to tin the wires of the Shelly. So what we call tinning is basically just applying some solder to the lead itself preparing it for soldering it directly onto the device or the pad. So first of all, I'll apply a little bit of extra solder to these pads just to make it easier to connect to. Next, I'm gonna use the multimeter just to check that I've got the polarity correct. Now I'm soldering the positive and negative power supply for the Shelly Uni. So now we've got it all wired up. We've got the two optocouplers connecting directly to the switches for both the diffuser and the LEDs. We've got the 12 volt power supply coming off of the 12 volts coming into the diffuser. And then we have the three cables connecting up 
to our sensor. Now I've put the sensor outside of the diffuser unit so that it's not affected by the temperature of any of the electronics inside of here. So I'll leave a link in the description below of a video I recently created showing how to connect the Shelly Uni up to a home assistant and also how to connect it up to a temperature sensor. So having a look at our Shelly within Home Assistant, we've got a couple of inputs that we're not using and then we've got the temperature over here. And then if we go back here, we've got switch zero and switch one. So switch zero is our LED light. So we can turn that on and off. And then switch number one is our diffuser itself. So now we're gonna create a little automation just to trigger the diffuser on a time based. So from here, we're gonna to go to automations and we're gonna use this device as the action over here. So the trigger that I'm gonna use is time because I want to trigger this every morning when I wake up, I wanna have that lovely fresh uh, smell. So I'm, I'm basing it on time. So I'm going to say a fixed time of 6 a.m. every morning. And we want to do that every day of the week. So we're going to select all of those days. And then we're going to go down here to the action. And we've got here the Shelly Uni Plus. So we're going to trigger it. We're going to turn it on. But because it's a push button, we then have to add a building block, block which is time. So we need to wait for time to pass. So I'm just going to wait for two seconds to pass and then I'm going to turn it off again. So I'm gonna add another action, device, and we're gonna select that Shelly. So we wanna select the Uni Plus switch number one, and we want to turn it off. So there we go, we've created, we can just give it a name, Diffuser, and there we go. We've created a trigger that is once a day. It's going to turn that on. It's going to trigger it. And it is then going to run for 30 seconds or 30 minutes because that's the timer that is set within the device itself. And then it will turn itself off automatically. That is some functionality that's built into the device itself. Now, of course, I could set up another automation turning the LED light on if I wanted to. So now in order to change this over to trigger when my cat is using their litter box, all I do is delete this trigger and instead I'm going to add a device trigger which is going to be a PIR, toilet PIR, and we're going to save that. And now we've done, every time the cat uses the litter box, the PIR triggers this automation and it runs the diffuser for 30 minutes to clean things up. So in summary, this has been a really cool little project and it's been something that has been super useful and it's something I use every single day of the week, making sure that I have a nice clean odor all the time. So I'd love to hear from you what you might be able to do with the Shelly Uni and what are some of the different devices that you might wanna automate with this product. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Oh, 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 oh,